guys welcome back to another unturned video today we're gonna be double uploading i'm gonna release this video as well as a proper unturned video or a proper fortnite video depending on what i feel like recording later but in this video i'm gonna be showing you host turned a unturned server hosting and install a server real quick and very cheap i haven't seen this on any other hosting website but the hack has a 10 slot server with a no lag strong i7 processor it's for 5.99 dollars which is very cheap now you can choose if you want to buy this one which is unturned private unturned community or unturned premium but when you use the code mtn i'll show you right now we press order here you write your name uh whatever you feel like putting here you know you scroll all the way down and you see this coupon code here you just write mtn and you will get 10 percent off it would be very nice if you guys could use this code it's going to be cheaper for you and you help me out at the same time when you have bought it you will get an email to your control panel with password and name and then you just log into it but if you need help with the server you can join the support discord which is also pandas normal discord you just join there and ask for help or you can press in the bottom right corner which is host turned live chat and you can just write hi and wait for someone to respond and then you explain your problem and they will help you out that's pretty much it let's head over to the control panel okay but now as you're logged in here you see, see that you have your game server and change password in case you want to change password on your account but we're just gonna head to game server real quick and this is basically where you have your server if you bought more than one service you will see all the different servers here but currently i do have two servers that are sponsored for me this is how it looks on the server overview here you can launch it and you can stop it as well as you can see the, the status has started uh, and uh, there's apparently six players on my server to change maps and so on on your server You want to head over to web FTP You can go to FTP if you use a program called FileZilla, but, it, but web FTP is just as easy to use uh, Oh, we couldn't establish connection. You have to have the server on to access the FTP So make sure you have the server on my fault. Sorry guys So you just click on web FTP after that you have launched as only FTP and here you can see everything all the unturned files and so on You press server share in the folder press server and this is the server that you have. This is the current server you have selected. And here you do have bundles, maps, players, server, and workshop. You have the config JSON as well, but if we open this, we can click it and edit. Here you can customize all the different mods in uh, Unturned. We have easy, normal, and hard. Uh, if you, for example, want to turn off bleeding in easy, uh, we go all the way down here. And... Uh, can't start bleeding. This should be put on false. EC already has that, obviously. But we're not going to be changing anything in the config JSON. What we're going to do now, we're going to go ahead and install a map. And how do we do that? Basically, what you do is you go to workshop here. You press maps. Here you want to upload the workshop map. But how do you do this? Basically, what you do is head over to Steam, press community and workshop. And when you're here, you just want to write unturn here. Press search. It's going to open up the unturned workshop. Press map. And now we can choose a map here to install. And we're going to go with the bunker arena, which was a cre created map for unturned. But this has a, has the TDM game mode made by the enemy. So we're going to go ahead and su subscribe to that. And now what you want to do is head over to library. Right click unturned. Properties. Local files. Browse local files. And when you're here, you want to head over to Steam apps. By clicking up here in this, in this address bar, I guess. Just press the Steam apps. Uh, go to workshop, go to content, and here you want to press 304 930, which is unturned. And now, if you press date modified and go to the top, the one on the very top, we should see Bunker Arena TDM. What you want to do is click on it and press Ctrl C to copy it. Head over to your desktop, paste it in. Now, basically, this is the map. Now, as you have pasted this in, this is your folder with the Bunker Arena TDM. What you want to do is press this upload and upload folder, and then you want to head over to your desktop where you have it and press this folder and press OK. This is gonna take a few minutes. Also, I forgot to mention this. When you want to install mods from the workshop, not maps, like different guns and so on, you want to head over to content here in server slash workshop slash content in your service page. Do this exact same thing with a gun mod. And when you download a gun mod, this is how it looks. You go to workshop, you head over to Unturned's workshop again, and we press item here, and we can see a lot of different guns. So if you want to install this duster, a pump shotgun here, for an example, we download it, and we head over to Unturned here, right click it, and press properties and local files. Browse local files, and you want to head over to uh, Steam Apps again, and go to Workshop, and Content, and 304 930 again, and we press Date Modified, we press this one all the way on the top here, and you just want to do the same thing here, you copy this to the desktop, just like this, go here, and you want to press Upload, and Upload Folder, go to your desktop, and upload the folder of where you have your Duster Shotgun, just like that, and you let it load, and then you spawn in the Duster Shotgun with the ID, which you can find on the page for the mod, which is the ID. For this shotgun, it's 45967, but that's basically how you install a different, like a gun mod to the server, pretty much. And now that this is done loading, you want to head over to the comments.dat here, you can see it under configuration on the left, you just press that, and here you can see name, you can customize the name of the server, you can name it Meeplestreak if you want, uh, just because it's Panda who owns host turn, you know, memes. I'm not gonna put any password here, because we'll see if anybody joins it, and we see welcome, mein, meine willkommen ist nachträgt. Uh, I'm not German, but we'll say, what's up guys, it's Garrosh here, that's what, that's what we're gonna put there, kinda cringe, 
but it is what it is. Here we have cycle. The 3600 is uh, the normal. It's gonna be how long it's day until it's go it, until it becomes day again, basically. Uh, basically 24 hours. Uh, this is not 24 hours, but you understand 24 hours in our turn. That's the 3600 seconds. So you just put this in seconds. If you want it to be one second, the cycle, uh, it's gonna be uh, night and day real quick. We're gonna put it on cycle one just to see how it is. I've never experienced that. But then we do have a map PI, and if we don't know the name of this, you just go to your desktop and open the folder where you have your map, Bunker Arena TDM. We're just gonna copy this real quick, just like that, and we're gonna put it here. Mode is basically if you want to have it on easy, normal, or hard. PvE, you won't be able to kill anybody. That's a bit boring, so we're gonna put PvP on. And here we go. This is owner Steam64 ID. Basically, what owner means it's that you're the owner of the server, and Steam64 ID is your Steam64 ID. If you don't know what it is, don't worry, I'll show you right now. A website you can head to is called steamid.io, and here you can log in through Steam real quick, just like this. And now when we're logged in, you just press your icon over here. This is an old, Im old image, and it says MTN Tank, which was the old name on Steam. And you have your Steam64 ID here. You you just want to copy it, head over to your server panel again and place the Steam64 ID text with your Steam64 ID just by pasting it like that. Press accept. And now as you have done that, your server is pretty much ready to go. And basically when you're here, you want to head over to server overview again and you, will, you just want to copy this IP and go paste that in here in IP. And then you want to make sure you get this port as well, which is for me 13337. You want to paste that in. Make sure there's no spaces between it before your IP or anything like that because that tends to happen when you copy and, pa copy and paste AIP. And now you just press connect. And now as you can see, it says Meeple Streaky Bunker Arena TDM. And you just want to join the server. And as you can see, created by Daniel Danaby. And uh, the server is using a modified version of the map. There's a very easy fix for this. You just want to close Unturned real quick, just like that. And you want to unsubscribe to the map and uh, you want to launch Unturned again. And now when you're in Unturned again, you just want to connect to the server. And remember, now you don't have the map. It doesn't show up here. You just want to press join. And what it should do now is download the map. Let's let it load and see what happens. And we're in the server and I'm underneath the ground for some reason. I think this might be a glitch with the map itself. No matter what map you install, it should work. And as you can see in the chat right here, it says, What's up, guys? It's scarce here. Server welcome message. That's pretty cool. So you can just customize that in your in your command section in your server. But thank you guys for watching this video. Click the video on the screen right now if you want to watch a tutorial on a tutorial on how you can install plugins to the server and customize them how you want. This has been a video by MTN. Don't forget to say coffee, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.